Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Rachab Kadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in all sincerity. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, which have given us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Rachab Kadash. The Lord will not come for all Israelites. Now, this is a video that was uploaded by Apostle Tahar. I believe this is Apostle Tahar's channel. And um, so uh, this video is going to be a follow up to this uh, video right here, you know, and it's true. OK, the Lord is not coming for all Israelites. Where's the proof? The proof is in the Holy Scriptures. So let's start off with Romans 11, verse 7. What then? Israel, who's Israel? Israel's talking about our people, the Israelites, which are, which are the so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians. Okay, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. Okay, what is, what is that which Israel seek for? Because as it is written, they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. Our people is seeking for Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, that they're seeking for the Lord. They're seeking for a, a savior, a higher power. But they have not obtained it. Why? Because the Most High blinded them. The Most High hardened their minds so they could not understand the Holy Scriptures. Okay? Because how many times ha have the Lord sent his men out there on the highways and hedges? How many times have the Lord sent his men out there on the highways and hedges to, uh, to warn our people, to teach them the doctrine, the correct doctrine, the, the truth, the 100 percent truth? But our people have not understood it. OK, we tell our people they're Israelites. They want to start a fight with you. They want to get into an argument with you. No, 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 brother. I'm not an Israelite. I'm, I'm new. I'm, I'm new. What? What? Bro, are you serious? OK, well, hey, you can walk down the street then because we, we ain't dealing with new Wabians. We dealing with the Israelites. All right. <clears throat> you, you can take your, your little shiny black ass down the street because I we don't want to hear nothing about no damn new Wabians, you know? Okay, you tell our people they're not supposed to eat pork. Oh, no, 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 brother, we're under grace. Gee, Jesus will forgive you. Shit, like, like, like hell, Yahweh will forgive you. Yahweh said not to eat pork. Hey, you, hey, when, hey, when you was a child, you want to know what happened when your father told you not to do something and you did it anyway? You got your ass for it. Okay? Okay? You tell our people they're not supposed to commit adultery. They want to fan they they want to fan their hand at you and keep walking down the street because they they love uh, 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 popping other men's women. So we're trying to tell our people, you know, you tell our people that uh that the, the, the Sabbath is based on the new moon. No 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 brother, the Sabbath is is, is every Saturday. Is it's every Saturday, brother. Okay, hey, well, you can you can just go right on down the street, man. Okay, you can go right on down the street because the scriptures say otherwise. But the elect is going to understand these things. You see, the elect is going to understand why you don't commit adultery. The elect is going to understand why you don't eat pork. The elect is going to understand why you don't smoke, why you don't get tattoos, why you don't do drugs. Okay, the elect is going to understand why you don't get lineups, why you don't shave your head bald, why, 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 why you don't shave your beard. The elect is going to understand these things, but the two thirds of our people are not. You know, you got niggas out there who, who hate to have a goatee on their face. They hate to have a beard. Oh, nah, nah, brother. My, my woman says I look like a bum when I go. Well, who cares what your woman say? Yo, yo, hey, look at Job's woman. Job's woman uh, uh, told, told him to curse the most high and die. You think you think women are wise? You, you know, women were not wise back then. 
You think they're they're wise now? But the elect is gonna understand why you're supposed to have a beard on your face, okay? The elect is gonna understand why the new moon uh, dictates the Sabbath. They're gonna understand why you're supposed to fast and pray. The elect is gonna understand these things, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. So you think the you think Yahushua is coming back to save the blinded as well? Hell not. Okay? Okay, uh me uh I just I just want to get a scripture real quick. Hey Vaz, you're really starting to get on my nerves. I'm gonna end up removing this program. So uh let's see a uh, Bible. Oh, ooh, ooh! I'm gonna get that one too. I'm gonna, ooh, that that that's that's definitely a good one. Need that believe it on me as the scripture. I just wanna let's get it real quick. <clears throat> so uh, here we go, the book of John. Let me see if I can find the King James version. Here we go. We're gonna go to KingJames.org. Dot org. KingJames.org. Uh, the book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said. Okay? Not, 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 not according to what you believe, according to this society, because Jake, Jake is, is heavy into that doest thou wilt spirit. Because a part of that doest, doest thou wilt spirit is what? YOLO, you only live once, which is bullshit, because the holy scriptures speak about reincarnation. Okay? Reincarnation is in the scriptures. Okay? There ain't no such thing you only live once. Okay? Your spirit is eternal. Okay? When your spirit leaves your current body, it goes back to the spirit world. And every 300 or 400 years later, guess what? Your spirit will sit back down into the body of a newborn baby. And where? Where? Your mother is soon to give birth to you back on. Uh, give birth to you. And boom, you're back on the planet. So reincarnation is in the scriptures, okay? So he that believeth on me as the scriptures have said, as the scriptures have said, okay? Yahweh I never said anything about smoking weed or, or some goddamn flat earth. Yahweh I never spoke about uh, how it's okay to eat pork. Yahweh I never said those things, okay? Yahweh I was, Yahweh is perfect, okay? He kept the law, statutes, and commandments perfectly. Okay? That's why he had a beard on his face. He didn't have any edge-ups. You know, he, he was perfect. He didn't eat pork. He kept all of the, uh, the, the, uh, the high holy days. It says, Out of his belly, which is your mind, shall flow rivers of living water. Now, let me get that one too. This scripture is definitely proof that Yahweh is not coming back for the two thirds of our people. Excuse me? I know I deleted all of this. Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Don't even need to type in the rest. Let's get it. Okay, see, John 3 and 18, okay? For God so loved the world. Well, let's see what John 3 and 18 got to say about this. John chapter three, verse 18. He that believeth, he that believeth on him is not condemned, okay? The him is talking about Yahweh, the Most High, Yahweh, okay? But he that believeth not is condemned already. Okay, that also applies to this generation. Okay, that also applies to this generation. Okay, as it is written in the book of Revelation. Okay, as it is written in the book of Revelation, uh, uh, he he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. You think Yahweh is coming back to 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 deliver the filthy? Hell nah. <laughs> He's coming back to deliver the uh, the elect, the righteous. 
because as it is written, he he that have faith in in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, his faith is counted as righteousness. Okay. So he, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Okay? The two-thirds of our people don't believe in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And I already gave you some examples. Okay? I mean, there's just no way you can convince a nigga to keep the Sabbath. Oh, nah, nah, bruh. I gotta cook my fried chicken today. But it, but but the Sabbath, the Sabbath is today. Okay? It, it, it. I'm all, I mean, I'm just giving an example. Okay? Uh, of course, the Sabbath is uh, Thursday sundown uh, this week. But I'm, I'm, I'm just giving an example, you know. You, you, you can't convince Jake not to cook on the Sabbath, you know. Bro, I'm a grown-ass man. This is my house. You ain't gonna tell me what I can and can't do. But hey, well, guess what? The Mosai is, is going to tell you how, how, how you, 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 Mosai is going to show you how, how you're going to be put to death in the future because you don't want to take heed. You want, you want to commit sin upon sin. You want to know why you cooking fried chicken on the Sabbath, you punk nigga? Because you don't believe, okay? You don't have faith, which you, you, you're, you're, especially the men of our nation, they, they are very feminine, emotional, Okay? The word feminine means minus faith, okay? I learned that from Apostle Gabar. The word feminine means minus faith. And two thirds of our people are feminine. Okay? So two thirds of our people don't believe in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Therefore, they are condemned already. So if you're condemned, you're not gonna receive salvation. Okay, so two thirds of our people are not going to receive salvation because they believe not. Yahweh is looking for the faithful because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son, which is Yahweh Okay. So uh, Romans eleven verse eight, according as it is written. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Okay? Okay, yeah, literally, even unto this day. <clears throat> I believe that's Romans, but let me let me just <coughs> <clears throat> and uh, also, let me get that in numbers. This is beautiful, man. How uh, everything just come together. Okay. Bible. I believe it's Romans the eighth chapter, but I could be wrong. Because our people commit sin every single day, and they're 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 just sinning sinning willfully without a care in the world or without a second thought that they are offending the Heavenly Father and the Son. And Salakia is actually the sixth chapter. Okay. Uh, Romans chapter six, verse 23. Okay. The most, Yahweh is not coming back to, to, to deliver those who want to commit sin. Okay. The reason why we went into captivity from the beginning was because we co we committed sin. Okay. So you think you think your house is about to come back and, and the, the deliver the sinful? Hell no. Nah. He's gonna destroy the sinful. Okay, Romans 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai our Lord. So the wages of sin is death. And our people, even to this very day, is committing sin. Adultery, homosexuality, lasciviousness, covet covetousness, lustfulness. You know, they're doing all kind of abominations, child sacrifices, child molestation, uh, bestiality. So our, our, our people need to be cleansed. So the wages of sin is death. Numbers 23 verse 19. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said and shall he not do it? So the Mosai don't change. Okay, the Lord said the wages of sin is death. 
So if you still commit sin in this generation, you're going to be put to death. You're not going to receive salvation. Or have he spoken and shall he not make it good? <clears throat> okay, and the Lord has always put a separation between his elect men and the two thirds of our people. Because the Lord's elect has always been trying to do the right thing. While two thirds of our people being responsible, you know, for, uh, you know, us going into multiple captivities and, you know, being put to death and shit, you know, and then there's the prophets of old who, who were put to death by the two thirds of our people. You think the Lord is about to deliver them now? Hell nah. Okay. Lord is not a respecter of persons either. <clears throat> Excuse me. Second Esdras. The ninth chapter. This one is another one, man. A big oof right here, man. This is one one of them blows, man. You, you see someone get hit by one of these blows and you gotta look away for a quick second because that shit look like it hurt it. Okay, uh, uh, second Esdras chapter nine, verse nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which have now abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Okay, shall dwell in torments. And that's, that, that's, that's dealing with the two thirds of our people. Because two thirds of our people are abusing the ways of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, you know. And, and the main excuse that they love to use is, "Oh, nah, brother, we're under grace." So, because you're under grace, that gives you the license to sin. Is that it? Okay. The Lord's not a respecter of persons. And second, second of all, you don't even know what what what, what the Lord meant by grace. Okay. Being brought into this truth is grace, <laughs> okay? Having the chance to get right with Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai before the before the the, uh, the destruction take place upon the four winds, that's grace. Having the opportunity to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, being brotherly, giving charity, paying your tithes, you know, giving double honors to to the apostles, which are your your spiritual parents, okay? Okay, uh, uh, giving praises and glory to the Heavenly Father Yahweh and the Son Yahweh Shai, that's grace, okay? So, so two thirds of our people, they love using grace as an excuse to eat pork, commit adultery, get tattoos, get edge ups, shave their face bald, be homosexuals, okay? Uh, 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 could commit child molestation, bestiality, smoke, uh, 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 do drugs that they love using grace a a as an excuse to do those things okay for such as, an, as such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me and they that have loathed my law ooh who, who's, who's loathing the law of, of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai two thirds of our people are because the Israelites, which are so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Indians, are the only ones who can commit sin. Because the law, statutes, and commandments was given only to the Israelites. So if you're loathing Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah's laws, then it means that you're wicked. You're just wicked and you gotta be destroyed, okay? While they had yet liberty, and when as yet a place of repentance was open unto them, a place of repentance was open unto who? The two thirds of our people understood not, but despised it. The word despise, when you look it up, goes back to the Latin word, despiseri, which de, uh, meaning down or down from, and spiseri, which means to look. So the word despise means to look down upon. So two thirds of our people, they look down upon the law, statutes and commandments of the heavenly father. They don't see 
keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father and His Son as being beneficial to them in their life. So they, they despise it. Okay? Therefore, the same must know it after death by pain. Okay? The same must know it after death by pain. So if two-thirds of our people is going to be destroyed, how the hell is all of Israel going to be delivered? <laughs> Okay, uh, let, me, let me let me get this too real quick. Uh, Malachi three and six. Okay, this is the book of Malachi, chapter three, verse six. For I am the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So, the Lord said He changed not. So if you commit in sin, if, 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 if the Mosai killed our people for committing sin back in the ancient world, you don't think he's going to do it now? The Lord don't change. The Lord is still going to kill our people for committing sin. OK, you want to know why we went into slavery and went through all those drastically horrible things? Because we committed sin. So you think the Lord is about to deliver two thirds of our people? All, hell nah. No, two thirds of our people is not going to receive salvation. Two thirds of our people is going to be destroyed on this side. And then in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to come back through the loins of the elect. Revelation. 14 verse 1. We get that. Uh, so this is the book of Revelation 14 verse 1. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Sion and with him 144,000 having his father's name written in their foreheads. So this is talking about the elect right here, okay? Which the one third, you know, consists of the elect. You know the 144,000, as well as you know, you know those those who help to support the brotherhood. You know the, the, those who are helps. You know those who have families. You know, because because there's, there's brothers in this truth who have families and wives who's going to be delivered as well. So they're going to receive salvation because they're of the elect, which is the one third. So the two third consists of 66.6 percent. .6 of, of the people of our nation, the one third consists of 33.3% of the people of our nation. Which is the one third, which is the elect. It says, and I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. It didn't say anything about all of Israel being redeemed from the earth. It said the elect, which is 144,000, okay? The one third, you know, which, which, uh, because the, the elect consists of you know, those who, who, who the, the, the one, you know, because the one third consists of those that are a part of the elect, you know, who, who, who are helps, you know, those who help brothers out and, you know, looked out for the brotherhood, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So you got them, but you also got the 144,000. Okay. Okay, and that that's your one third right there. So so they so so the elect were redeemed from the earth. Not all of Israel, okay? It said but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. These these are they which were redeemed from from the, the, the coming set perils such as martial law, uh disease warfare. <clears throat> 
okay? Concentration camps, uh, race wars, uh, the nuclear destruction, newly created beasts, uh, DARPA robots, uh, monstrous apparitions. Okay, the elect were redeemed from, from all these. And ultimately, the elect is going to be redeemed from the coming nuclear destruction. Okay? But the two-thirds is going to be left behind for those things. The two-thirds is going to be taken by martial law. They're going to die by newly created beasts. They're going to die by the beasts of the field. They're going to die from disease warfare. They're going to die from famine. They're going to die in concentration camps. They're going to die in the nuclear war. Why? Because they were not of the elect. They were not uh, chosen to be redeemed from the earth. So two-thirds of our people are going to be put to death. Okay. Now let me get this. You know, this this is just uh actually uh hold on. Let me get this real quick. Uh the book of Amos, chapter nine. Let's see, is it verse is it nine verse ten? Or nine verse I think it's nine verse eight. But it, it could have been nine verse ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Amos chapter 9 verse 10, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Remember, Malachi 3 and 6, the, the Lord changed not. So if you are Israelite, which will be the so-called blacks, Latinos, or Native Indians, or if your lineage descends back to the Israelites on, on your father's side, which will be the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians, if, if you're a sinner, you're going to die by the sword. Okay, a sword is an instrument of death. So a, a sword can come in the form of uh, a guillotine. A sword can come in the form of martial law gunning you down in the streets. A sword can come in the form of newly created beasts mauling you to death. Beasts of the field mauling you to death. Uh, a sword can, can come in the form of famine, disease warfare. Uh, a sword can come in the form of, of, of you dying by natural disasters. Okay? And we all know that the two-thirds of our people are sinners so they're going to be destroyed which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us and that's the attitude that our that two-thirds of our people have their attitude is that man ain't, 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 america ain't gonna be hit with no damn nukes shut up okay well, well yeah we'll see man because russia china north korea and many other countries got their nukes facing at america as i speak Now, this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass in all the land, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, two parts, which is talking about the two thirds of our people, therein shall be cut off and die. Okay, Malachi 3 and 6, the Lord changed not. But the third shall be left therein. <laughs> the third, so, so Zechariah 13, verse 8 to 9, is clearly putting a, a, a distinction amongst our nation, okay? A, a distinction between the elect and the two-thirds of our nation. So the two-thirds of our nation is gonna be cut off and die, but the third, which is the elect, the one-third is gonna be left therein. And that will bring the third part, the one-third through the fire. The fire is the, uh, the coming prophecies that I spoke of earlier, martial law, uh, concentration camps, famine, etc., etc., and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. Okay, they shall call on my name. Only the elect is going to know the, the, the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Well, okay, I take that back. You got you got a few others outside of the elect who know the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and they're still going to be destroyed because they did not repent wholeheartedly from their sins. And I will hear them. So the the Lord is going to hear. The cries, the prayers of his, the, the, the supplication, the beggings of his elect men. He's going to hear them. He's not going to hear the two thirds of our people. And I got the proof on that too. I will say it is my people and they shall say, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is my power, my Lord and Savior. Now, let me get that in, because uh, this, this is proof that the, because the only way, the only way 
you can receive salvation is if the Lord hears your prayers and deliver you out of your tribulation. So, Proverbs 1, I'll just do 1 and 27, see where it takes me. Okay, so Proverbs 1 and 27, when your fear cometh as desolation, that's, this is concerning the, the two thirds of our people, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Okay, so the two thirds of our people, they're gonna try to call on, on, on the Lord. You know, Lord save me, but the Lord, Lord is not gonna save you from your, your trials and tribulation. You, you won't be destroyed in the land because you were proud, before Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and you refuse to repent from your sins. So uh, let me get that in. Is it Revelation? It might be Revelation, the 21st chapter. Let me see. Revelation 21, verse 9. I don't know the exact scripture, but I'm going to just do 21 and 9, see where it takes me. You know, even before I came into truth, I used to love reading the book of Revelation. Let me see. There. Shall no wise. Let me see. Uh, uh, so I'm trying to find it. Uh, it might be the 22nd chapter. Let's, let's go to the next chapter. Or better yet, let me see. If I don't find it this time, I know exactly what I got to do. Okay, uh, let me see. See, uh, let me see. I'm gonna have to read the book of Revelation again. This is like, it's just such a good book. Okay, so I'm gonna just, let me type this in then. Let's go to Revelation 22, and I'll just start at 10. Okay, Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. I mean, Revelation chapter 22, verse 10. And he saith unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. So the two thirds of our people are gonna be unjust until they are put to death. They're not gonna receive salvation. And he, which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Two thirds of our people are gonna be filthy until they are destroyed. They're not gonna receive salvation. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. We know the elect is gonna be the righteous ones. We know the elect are the righteous ones because they are faithful in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And it takes faith to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, to pray, to call on the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, it, 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 it takes faith to keep the high holy days and to be brotherly, to, to, to pay your tithes, you know, uh, you know, help out the brotherhood, okay? And he that is holy, let him be holy still, which the word holy means separate. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. <laughs> okay, so if you do wickedly, you're going to receive a wicked reward. You do righteously, you're going to receive a righteous reward. It's just plain and simple, man. So Lord's will, this video was edifying to you, brothers, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. This is the year 2020, the year of prophecy. Kwam Yasha Allah is on to the next one. Shalom.